Hey, what's up? I'm Paul here with Kali Center. Today we're going to be working some Espadi Adaga. Got my teacher Kaylee here. She's going to be taking it on for you guys and showing you what to do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you enjoy Espadi Adaga, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Not a lot of people really understand this weapon category, but when you do, there's a lot of magic in here and a lot of skill development. So let's get to some basic drills, get you started with your training on this area of collies, the third area of collies. So from here, come a little closer, Chris, so we can get the details of this. So we have a couple of drills that we're gonna be working here. The first drill, we're gonna strike our one and our angle two. So we're just gonna make a big X. And then we're gonna strike a jab right there. We're gonna go form to form, get a little bit of tempering, a little bit of conditioning here, a little bit of timing. Now, if you want to, because some people are like, I don't understand the jab, you can work a thrust as well, but just be careful with each other's eyes. But the jab is a little bit of a faster strike. Then we're gonna chamber it back, make sure the knife goes right to the plexus, and start the drill over. So one, two, and jab. And if you miss a stick like that, no big deal. We're just clicking sticks for coordination and for understanding timing. Okay. So when we're doing this drill, what you wanna look for is you want the sticks to make contact right at the center. If we're making contact over here, my timing is way off. And look at Kaylee's stick over here. It's already going through, it's right in front of my face. If we we're at range, I'm already getting hit. So my strike didn't do anything for me. So we wanna make sure we're making contact right in the middle. That's where we're learning the timing. Same thing on the two, and then come through. Same thing even on the dagger, right? We want the forearms to meet right in the middle. Let's give this one a couple of reps here. It just starts slow like this. Slow and smooth in the beginning. Don't worry about speed. Speed will come as you're getting more coordinated and as you're putting time into the drills. And if you have it down, you feel pretty good, then we can kind of move, just circle around a little bit with it. Just like that. Second drill is timing wise it's the same thing, but we're gonna put in an extra movement and we're gonna put in the thrusting or the passing thrust of the dagger and then we're gonna strike the two and jab again. So now we're learning how to transition the dagger to the backhand side right there. Let's take a look at it. So we're gonna make contact with the stick, no contact with the dagger here, contact and jab right there. One, pass it, two, and jab. One, pass, two, jab. Again, keeping all the timing the same. Start nice and slow. And as you have it, then we'll gradually, slowly start speeding it up. Now this one, there's a little trick to it here. The higher you can get your dagger thrust, this passing thrust, the higher your angle two is gonna come out. So if my dagger is very low, my angle two is gonna be very low. This is not good because I have no protection for the head. So if we're doing this drill and my dagger's low, but Kaylee's doing the drill correctly, I'm not gonna be able to withstand her strike and I'm probably gonna get whacked in the face and then you're not gonna have a good, you know, enjoyable experience with Kali. You wanna make sure that you're coming back and training all the time. So we gotta make sure you're protecting yourself so that way you're having fun. The higher you have the dagger, it should be over your head, the higher that tube can come out. Little, little pro tip right there. And again, once you have this coordination here, you can Circle it around, add a little bit of footwork. Just like that. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Isolate those two drills, train them individually. And if you don't have a Kaylee, use a heavy bag. You can just have a pole in the ground, an old tree, anything. And you can just work that and just do some visualization and get a little bit of impact training in with that as well. But once you've done both drills individually and you're feeling pretty efficient with them, then let's go ahead and combine them together into one big drill. That's gonna look like this. We're gonna go through drill number one, 
and then drill number two. Back to drill one, to drill two. So now we're building a little bit of agility, being able to move from one pattern to the next pattern seamlessly. Oh, <laughs> supposed to be seamlessly. But just remember, we're training right here. So when things like that happen, someone makes a mistake, it's not a big deal. And these are recoverable drills. So even if she's in drill number one, I can go to drill number two. And it's still going to work because the timing is going to be the same. But it just kind of messes, messes someone up in the beginning. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got it. And then back to drill one. And then drill two. One. Drill two. And, you know, no matter how long you practice these drills, look, you're always going to make a mistake when you're not me, but that's just kind of the nature of the piece. Just kidding. I make mistakes <laughs> all the time. So that's the Spotty Adaga. Great place to start on this weapon category. Give it a try. And maybe we'll do some more drills on the Spotty Adaga. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more. Make sure to thank Kaylee down in the comments as well. You know, it, it takes a lot of courage to come up and make these videos and put them up on YouTube and all that. So thank you for being my training partner today. If you're brand new to the Kali Center channel, if it's your first time coming across to it, or if you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap that subscribe button and then that little bell will pop up. Go ahead and thrust that bell as well that so we don't miss any upcoming videos here on the Kali Center channel. And if you want to take your training even further, check out our online school over at KaliCenter.com. Got the link to that in the description below. We're gonna get back to training. We got a whole seminar and they're all they're all waiting for us. But uh, they're gonna have to wait a little longer because we're gonna work out. We'll see you back here next time. Right, now we're gonna move around a little bit with it. And then we're gonna go boom, boom. And now the next one we're gonna do three and four. Three and four. Okay. There it is. Boom, low jab. There it is. <laughs>